Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that your concept is clear, let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Write all the factors of the following numbers 27, 18 and 36. So let us start with 27. So how do we write factors of a number? So we start from 1 and we just keep checking that is there any number which can divide 27 completely. So that's how we would do it. So let us start with 1. So yes, 1 into 27, we can write it like this. So 1, anyways, 1 is a factor of every number we know. What about 2? 2 will not divide 27. How about 3? Yes, 3 nines are 27. How about 4? 4 will again not divide. 5, no. 6, no. 7, no. 8, no. 9, yes. 9 into 3 is 27. So again, as you move on like this, you find that again, finally, the next thing that you can write is 27 into 1. So basically, from this, you see that 1, 3, 9, 27. These are the factors of 27. Now you might ask me here that how, I mean, how can we just mentally uh, decide that 2 can divide 27 completely or not? Or how would we decide that 4 will divide 27 or not? Because you might not know that at instance. So for that, we will give I mean, in, towards uh, as we move ahead with this lesson, I will give you some tricks. They are called divisibility tests, and using those tests, you can very quickly determine whether a particular number is divisible by another number or not. So that will make your task easier. Now let us talk about the next number that is 18. So for 18, what are the ways we can write 18? So we can write 18 as 1 into 18, this can be written as 2 into 9, this can also be written as 3 into 6, this can be written as 6 into 3, 9 into 2 and 18 into 1. Now have you observed something very nice about this uh, sequence that first you write 1 into 18, 2 into 9, 3 into 6. Now the moment you write it as 2 into 9, that anyways proves that 2 is a factor of 18, but it also indirectly proves that 9 is also a factor of 18 because 9 will also divide 18 completely, leaving quotient as 2 and remainder as 0. And that is why you get the same terms again, just the order changed. So this time you are dividing it by 9 instead of 2. And that is how you can say that 18 would have the factors 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Let us now talk about 36. So 36 can be written as 1 into 36, 2 into 18, 3 into 12, 4 into 9, 6 into 6, 9 into 4, 12 into 3, 18 into 2, 36 into 1. So these are the various ways in which you can write 36 which shows that 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36 are the factors of 36. Question number 2. Write first 5 multiples of 9. Now, how do we find multiples? By multiplying the number by the various natural numbers. So, first 5. So, we start multiplying with 1. So, multiplied by 1, then multiplied by 2, then 3, then 4, and then 5. So, what are their values? So, this is 9, this is 18, this is 27, this is 36, and this is 45. So these are the first five multiples of 9. Question number 3. Match the items in column 1 with the items in column 2. 35. Is it a multiple of 8? Do you think that 35 would be a multiple of 8? Quickly recall the table of 8. 8 ones are 8, 8 is 16, 8 is a 24, 8 was a 32, 8 5 is a 40. So you have 42, you have 32 and then you have 40. So 35 is not there. So 35 is not a multiple of 8. Multiple of 7, uh, yes, it is a multiple of 7 because when you 
actually look at the multiples of 7, you would see they, they are 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14, 7 threes are 21, 7 fours are 28, and 7 five is 35. So 35 is a multiple of 7. 15, what is 15? Is 15 multiple of 8? No. Multiple of 70? No, because multiples of any number will always be greater than or equal to the number. So multiple of 70 has to be greater than or equal to 70. Factor of 30? Factor of 30, yes, that could be possible because when you divide 30, now in order to be factor of 30, 15 should exactly divide 30. So when you divide 30 by 15, what do you get? You can write 30 as 15 into 2. So therefore, it leaves remainder 0. So therefore, 15 is a factor of 30. 16. The 16 is a multiple of 8. Why? Because 8 into 2 is equal to 16. So therefore, 16 is a multiple of 8. 20. So 20 is a multiple of 70 that is not possible because multiple of 70 has to be greater than or equal to 70. 20 is a factor of 50 that is also not true because if you divide 50 by 20, uh, you the remainder is not 0. A factor of 20, yes, because every number is a factor of itself. 25 is a multiple of 70, no, not possible again. 25 is a factor of 50, yes, that can happen. That's because 50 divided by 25 is equal to 2. So 50 can be written as 25 into 2. So 25 is a factor of 50. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.